strategies, we will learn how to find the price elasticity of demand from a given utility function. The question is like this, given the utility function that is u is equal to x1 times x2 where x1 and x2 are the two commodities, what is own price elasticity of demand? We have to find the own price elasticity of demand, rather what we call the price elasticity of demand. The options are given, a is 0, b is 1, c is minus 1 and d is 2, okay? So first of all, we will see what is the formula for own price elasticity of demand. And we will know that elasticity of demand, elasticity of demand is given by, that is given by dq upon dp times p by q, okay? Where q is the quantity and p is the price. That means elasticity of demand is equal to slope of the demand function times price into quantity, okay? So, we will use this very formula in finding the price elasticity of demand. Here we can see we are being given only a utility function. From that, we cannot uh, directly derive the price elasticity of demand, okay? So, first I will write this utility function that is u is equal to x1 times x2. This is our utility function, okay? Uh, what we have to do, we have to first derive the demand function from this very given utility function, okay? For that, what we need, we need the price of good x1, price of good x2, and the money income, okay? That means we want to maximize this utility subject to our budget constraint. Let us say uh, P1, so I will write here, we have to actually maximize this very utility function subject to the budget constraint. Our budget constraint will be price of good one times the quantity of good one, that is P1x1, uh, plus price of good two times the quantity of good two, okay, that is X2, should be equal to our budget, let us say it is M, that means we have to maximize our utility subject to the given budget constraint, okay, so what we will do, we will directly use the tangency condition, that is utility maximizing, uh, maximization condition for solving this. We can also use the Langrages method, but it would be very, uh, very suitable to use the direct method, that is uh, first order condition for utility maximization requires, I will write here, uh, first order condition for utility uh, maximization requires that our marginal rate of substitution, marginal rate of substitution between uh, good x1 and x2 should be equal to the ratio of the prices, that is P1 divided by P2. Okay, that means utility is maximized when the marginal rate of substitution between two goods is equal to the ratio of their prices. Or we can say this marginal rate of substitution is also are written as that is marginal utility of good x1 so i will write here x1 divided by marginal utility of good x2 should be equal to p1 by p2 this is the tangency condition uh, rather the first order condition for utility maximization that simply means if we have the index if we are given the budget constraint okay and we have this indifference curve, okay? Utility is maximized at that point where this indifference curve is a uh, tangent to the budget constraint, okay? For that, we use this very uh, relationship, okay? Now, what will we do? We will find, uh, let me take this down. We will find the marginal utility of good x1 first, okay? Now, marginal utility of good x1 is simply the partial derivative of utility function with respect to x1 okay what is the derivative of x1 that is 1 okay so we are left with x2 so marginal utility of good x1 is equal to x2 similarly marginal utility for good x2 now we have to again differentiate the given utility function with respect to x2 okay so the derivative of x2 is 1 so we are left with x1 okay now what is our tangency condition uh, so sorry uh, the utility maximization condition that is uh, we have to use this very equation 
this way relationship okay that means a uh, uh, marginal utility of good x1 is given as x2 marginal utility of good x2 is equal to x1 so we will equate them that means in place of this i will write x2 x2 divided by x1 should be equal to p1 divided by p2 okay i hope i am making sense here now solve for x2 so x2 is simply equal to p1 divided by p2 when transposing this will get multiplied so this is p1 divided by p2 times x1 okay after that what we have to do we have to just plug this uh, the value of x2 in our budget constraint this very constraint okay we will plug this x2 here okay so we we have p1 x1 plus p2 and in place of x2 we have this very uh, term that is uh, p1 uh, divided by p2 times x1 and it should be equal to m okay actually we are deriving the marshallian demand function here what we also call the ordinary demand function so this p2 p2 gets cancelled we are left with p1 x1 plus p1 x1 is equal to m okay since the terms are same here we can add them up so this is a uh, two times p1 x1 should be equal to m or x sorry or our x1 is equal to m divided by twice p1 okay this is the demand function for good x and it says that the demand for good x is inversely related to its price okay because there is a negative relationship here and we can easily prove this similarly for x2 we will get if we solve by this very method we will get m divided by twice p2 okay these are the demand functions for good x1 and x2 okay now we can use uh, this price elasticity of demand formula in finding the required price elasticity okay so as we know elasticity of demand is given by so we will uh, find the elasticity for this very uh, this very uh, good so this is simply we have to differentiate uh, this very demand function with respect to p1 okay so i will write here we have what we have to do we have to do d x1 divided by d p1 times p1 divided by x1 okay using this very uh, formula here in place of q we have x1 now what is our dx1 divided by dp1 that means we have to differentiate this very function with respect to uh, p1 that means d x1 divided by d p1 is equal to we have to differentiate this very function okay or i can write this very function like this so first i will write here we have yeah i can uh, rearrange in this uh, this is equal to x1 is equal to uh, we have m divided by 2 and i can write this like p1 to the power minus 1 i have just transposed the numerator to the denominator when transposing numerator to denominator the exponent sign gets changed here it was p to the power plus 1 it became p to the power minus 1 okay now we can use uh, the differentiation here since we are differentiating with respect to p1 sorry for the external uh, noise i have no control over that okay so actually it makes my class more lively now we have to differentiate with respect to uh, minus p1 what is the derivative of p1 it is simply this uh, exponent become become the coefficient this is p1 and exponent is subtracted by 1 so we get here minus 1 times p to the power uh, minus 2 or we get minus uh, 1 divided by p square okay this is the derivative this is by the power function rule as we know if we are given x to the power 1 it is uh, derivative would be simply this exponent becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 this is the simple uh, power function rule of differentiation okay that means our uh, the derivative of 
uh, p to the power minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by e square. So, we, I can write it like this, m divided by 2, the derivative of this I got here, that is minus 1 divided by p, sorry, it is here minus p1, okay, p1 square. Now, what would be our elasticity of demand? Elasticity of demand is equal to dx1 divided by dp1, we got that is minus m divided by 2 into 1 divided by p1 square times p1, our p1 is. And in place of x1, we have this very function. So I will write here again m I divided by twice. P1. Okay, I hope I am making myself clear uh, to this point. When rearranging this will come out m divided by 2 times 1 divided by p1 square and we will just transpose this. Here we have p1, p1 divided by 1 and it will get transposed so we have uh, twice p1 divided by m. Okay, here we can see this m and n gets cancelled this 2 and 2 will get cancelled we have p1 into p1 is p1 so we have minus p1 square divided by p1 square this p1 and p1 square get cancelled and we are left with minus 1 so we got price elasticity of demand equal to that is uh, elasticity of demand is equal to minus 1 but we always take the absolute value of the elasticity number okay that means elasticity of demand is equal to the absolute value of minus 1 which is equal to 1 okay that is how we find the price elasticity of demand from the given utility function i hope i make myself clear in this video actually we were given simply a utility function uh, to get the marshall and demand or uh, the ordinary demand function what we need we need the budget constant and we have constructed the budget constant simply we were given the utility function and budget constraint uh, in this case would have been a uh, price of good one times the quantity purchased of good one should have plus price of good two times quantity of uh, good two should have been equal to m and first order condition for utility maximization requires that our marginal rate of substitution between two goods should have been equal to the ratio of their prices and marginal utility uh, sorry marginal rate of substitution is simply marginal utility of good x divided by marginal utility of good y and it should have been equal to the ratio of their prices which was p1 and p2 and after that we get the value of x2 okay after that we plug the value of x2 in our budget constraint from that we got the two demand functions for good x1 and good x2 and after that we use the price elasticity of demand formula to get our desired result i hope uh, this video uh, is helpful to you thank you